Hello everyone, today we're testing the full self-driving beta version. Uh, what we're trying to do today is go outside of the city. Um, so let's see how the Tesla does it. Um, there are minor hiccups uh, here and there with Teslas. Um, so what I'm trying to do is right now, I'm just trying to see how it takes me outside of the city right now. So as you can see, this was pretty smooth. No need to touch the steering or anything. Now this applies by force. Um, and let's see how it does it. So give us a better view of how the full self-driving beta looks at everything. You can see that, you know, it's a 360 view checks everything understands everything and that's how it looks outside so again a person walking and we'll show as a person walking in here as well uh, light turns green and we're off to go again you can see that it's only at 25 miles what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go to at least 40 miles so it you know it's something that I personally would drive I don't recommend driving over the limit at all but I would at least drive faster than the 25 miles per hour range right so again I also picked up those people that are cycling or biking next to us and you can see there are bikes on there too. Again, we come to a a traffic light, and since it's red, we we make that stop pretty easy. Again, since we're turning to, uh, we're coming, approaching these lights, they're already green, but there are also people walking, and who is able to understand that they stop. Okay, so we have to take a left here, and let's see how it does it. There we go. That was actually pretty clean. Uh, satisfied with that one. Takes to the right side. Someone crossing when the lights are green. Uh, yeah, so since we're in Ann Arbor, uh, it's a college town. You know, jaywalking is pretty common. And you can see the details on the thing since it turns green again. I think Tesla is doing a really good job uh, with the rollout of the full, full self-driving beta versions. Um, since it's giving it to a lot of people, they are using this data to test it uh, and you know, it will automatically improve throughout with you know, relentless testing and all that phase. So hopefully I think a fully autonomous vehicle uh, by Tesla itself where we don't have to like apply slight force or something is not that far. Talk about, talk about applied slide force and this pops up. Uh, as you can see, it 
hit uh, 25 miles per hour again. Um, I'm not gonna change it this time. I'm gonna see how how it automatically deals with itself. So you can see these are the limits over here that it shows. Pick it up because now there's a 30 mile thing. So it changes to 30, goes back to 30. I think what you can offset it to whatever the speed range is right now. I think I don't have any offset, but you can set it to like uh, a plus 10 or a plus 5 or depending on what you want. So automatically, whatever the speed limit is, it would be at least uh, 10 miles above the speed limit. I think in my next video or I will share with you guys how to do it and how we can try that on our highways and different roads. actually surprised because this highway that we're actually approaching is it has a lot of potholes uh, or just their bumpy roads so I, I don't know if Tesla is smart enough to see how the roads are and swerve around those potholes um, that's my only concern with Tesla's uh, and especially since I have the performance model 3 uh, the tire profile is very very low um, what happens then is if it hits a bottle on a good you know speed at a high speed uh, it just takes a damage on the rim itself and the tires are gone as well so that's just an extra cost alrighty oh that was pretty clean actually joining the highway uh, this is not the interstate this is what connects to the interstate I think this is M14 um, so what we're going to do right now is this would connect to our main interstate and I want to see how it does that connection as well. saw what happened there um, the other car that you can see in front of us was coming and Tesla somehow still wanted to go with the exact same pace so that would there was a slight hiccup with how it wanted to join back to the main highway and I think that could be due to the construction as well but um, yeah, they need to have this much better because any accident on the highway could cause severe damages so 
that's something that Tesla can work on. And now we're back to highway. Uh, we're actually on the interstate uh, now, so what we can do is, um, you know, we're uploading more videos of how uh, how the full self driving beta version is doing it under different conditions, under different uh, construction zones. And if you have any questions on how to operate uh, the full self driving beta, how to change anything on the menu, just let me know and we'll, we'll go through it together.